What we will be doing in this video is showing you how to set up and deploy an example application for your device using Qt for device creation. We will be using the Toradex Apalis IMX6 device for this video, but the process can be followed for your own device too. It is also assumed that it is already set up so that you can boot from the SD card. If you need help with this, then please contact Qt support. The example application we will be using for this is the one from the making your first Qt quick application video. First we want to flash our SD card so that it can be used with our device. Put the card into your computer and then inside Qt Creator we go to Tools, then Flash Boot to Qt Device. This will show the Boot to Qt flashing widget. So we first click on Next. And then since we have only the one version installed here that is relevant, it is already selected for us. Now we click on Next. The next page is for choosing the target device for flashing the image. In my case, I only have the one SD key card, so it is suitable, so it is chosen for me already. If you have more than one, then click on the one you want to flash, and then click on Next. It will now show a message box saying that it needs to be unmounted, so we click on OK and this will be done for us. Now it is ready to write, so we click on write and give it our password to grant access to the run the flashing tool as the super user. This will take a bit of time, so we will pause here and come back to it when it is finished flashing. Now that the flashing is finished, we click on finish. Remember to safely eject the SD card before removing it. So to do that, we go to our files and click on eject. Now we can put the card into the device ready and connect it to our computer ready for the next steps and power it on so it's ready for us to use. Now we go back to Qt Creator and we need to set up our device. So we go to Tools, Options, then Devices and click on Add. This will give us a list of the options as to the type of devices to be chosen. Generic Linux device is for when it is not using the boot to queue image, as we are doing in this case, and QNX device is for a QNX based device. In this case we are using boot to queue device as we already have an image flashed on our SD card, so we select this one and then click on Start Wizard. Firstly, we give it a name. This can be whatever you want, so I will name it Toradex. I am at 6, as that is the type of device I have. As for the host name or IP address, if you don't know what this is, then go to the display for your device and you should have the Qt Launcher already displayed there. Press on the top left button, which is the three lines, and this will take you to the settings. At the top right, you can see what the IP address is, and then you can enter that as the address. Now click on finish. This will run a test to check if I can connect. Once that is finished indicating that it has been successful, then click on close. As this is the only device that we have connected, then it will be automatically the default. And this means our kit will have this by default too, so we don't need to do any further changes here. So we can click on OK. Now we are ready to open our project. So I go to File, Open File or Project, and open my Hello Quick user example from before by selecting the CMate list.txt file from that project. As this was already opened before, then it does not ask for any kit information this time, so it will be set to use the desktop one from before. So we need to add our Qt for device creation kit to this example. So we click on projects on the left hand side, and we can see that our desktop kit is in bold, which means it is a selected one and above it we can see our boot to Qt kit. So click on that and then click on build which is underneath it. This makes it the kit being used by the project right now. There's one last thing to do which is to make sure that our CMates list.txt file has an install line. So first we click on edit and then double click on CMate list.txt. In this case I will just paste in the line needed into the bottom of my cmate list.txt file. 
What this line is doing is setting up an install so that it will install the target to the device. The project name and the CMake install prefix variable are already set for us so we don't need to do anything else here. Now all we need to do is to save the file and then we can click on the run button and we can see that it's been built and deployed to our device. Now you've set up your kit for your Qt for device creation device and have deployed your first example to it. If you had any problems along the way then please contact Qt support and we can help you out further. Thank you for watching.